What is going on, guys? We're back with another video today, and of course, we're in the wild card round. We have awards, we have stats. Of course, none of our guys really upgraded in um, overall. I don't know if it's because uh, we didn't have a whole lot of Pro Bowls, but that's beside the point. Really, Moses, one upgrade. Please, for the love of God, please give me a dev up. We will take a look at the stats. We'll take a look at the uh, the awards. First, this is the, fa the stats. Jacoby, absolutely insane season. I mean, above and beyond every quarterback by a mile. Melvin Gordon, surprisingly good season. You know, top two, top three running back in the AFC. Uh, you know, 1,255 yards, 13 touchdowns. Eckler, not a bad season as a backup. What's his dev? Eckler has quick dev, but he didn't go up. I, I honestly thought he had normal this whole season. Please, Melvin, star. Thank you. Star dev. He's almost got an upgrade. I don't know how much star is going to save him, but I think at minimum, we should be able to keep uh, Melvin for at least another season. At least. We obviously are going to look at the rest of the devs, but we had three 1,000-yard receivers uh, Hunter Henry, a little underdeveloped this season. However, he was probably the best tight end still, so he could still be soup. Damn it, he dropped dead, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, that's one of the least players I was worried about. Uh, Bowen, uh, I think he would automatically keep superstar. We can't even upgrade him, even though he has a point. I don't know if offensive linemen really up in dev anyways. Moses missed 10, 100 tackles by two tackles, 13 picks. That's got to be enough to get to star. It's got to be. Uh, Joey Bosa, that I don't know if he was already superstar. I can't remember if he gained it back. Probably gains it back here. Donald hopefully stays superstar. That'd be huge. Uh, Sue, what was his dev before? Did he go up in dev? He did. Wow, okay. So I don't think we're going to keep him anyways, but still, that's pretty clutch. Desmond and Derwin kind of lower in dev, so hopefully they maybe get back. Jatavis, this is going to be worried, worrisome. He may be down to quick. Yikes. Okay, so quick dev. He's about to be 28. That's kind of rough. Kicking Sam Martin was very good. Would he have went up in dev? I don't even know. I don't know if you can even go up in dev, to be fair. Like, Pro Bowl stuff, I think we'd already get rewards for. So, I'm not exactly sure about that. Let's take a look at the uh, actual awards. And then we will go quickly glance over the uh, the entire NFL. So, you can see here, Geis, who broke rushing touchdown and um, rushing yardage records on the season, uh, gets MVP. Travis Vick, somehow number two with like 30-plus uh, turnovers. Miles Sanders uh, had a really good season, probably over 2,000 total. Jacoby, highest passer rating in an NFL season. Never going to break it unless it's probably us, to be honest. Uh, and then a couple of guys with some sleeper seasons. Coach of the year, of course, going to go to the 16-0 coach, which is honestly a little shocking. I, I usually don't get coach wins, even if we deserve it. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> The one season, like he had a pretty good season last year in fairness, but the one season he does really well, I had Moses. I don't care about any of the awards before. Jatavis, I don't care. Don't care about him. Don't care about any of the other awards. The one season. Look at this. 2000 Legacy versus 56. I hate you. I hate you. So, of course, rookie awards were very easy on both sides to win. In fairness, I didn't really look at defensively, but offensively, super easy. Jacoby, obviously, uh, best quarterback. Uh, Travion, uh, did actually get number two over Melvin. That kind of sucks. Hopefully Melvin can still be, uh, what is it called? One of the Pro Bowl running backs. Bowen wins Offensive Lineman of the Year. I don't really care. Bosa wins D-Lineman of the Year. Moses, I hate you. Um, J Jason Verrett, I wonder, did he go up in dev? I can't see it here. Uh, and then kicker Sam Martin. I don't know what you know, happens if you win best kicker or anything like that. But let's take a look at the whole season, see, you know, how everyone fared. Or not everyone, but, you know, the kind of top guys. So you can see most passing yards in a season was Josh Allen. Uh, 38 touchdowns, 35 picks. You guys can see a lot of interceptions across the board for pretty much every quarterback. Milton, you know, basically the best touchdown to pick ratio besides us. Just off of first glance, I can't really tell. Mahomes would have been doing really well, but the user, he went off and could not play. So, uh, obviously, those kind of went down. Mahomes definitely would have been a very big competitor. He was a great user. You know, it was kind of annoying to play him, but it was a very good competition. So, it kind of sucks that he's not going to be playing anymore. Most carries in the season goes, I would, I would assume, no, not even Geis. It wasn't Geis. Uh, Geis did get third. Uh, yardage, of course, we were number five in the league, which was actually really shocking. Because, once again, he's 28. I really didn't care to run, but I kind of had to play. You know, I kind of had to use him. So most yards per carry on the season goes to Geis. So obviously well-deserved. 
Miles Sanders, number two. That's a quarterback. Uh, well, you would think he's a quarterback. Melvin, number, uh, what, three? So Melvin actually did have a really good season. Catches. Who had the most? So Antonio Brown gets the most catches with 79. Still somehow didn't get 1,000. I think that's to do with uh, a lot of Sims. Touchdowns. Most went to A.J. Brown, Rashad Perriman. We had Tyree Cleveland and Tyrell Williams very close to those numbers. Yardage, Amari Rogers with the number one receiving yard total. A.J. Brown not too far behind. A couple other guys. Did Perriman go up in dev? Quick dev. I would assume that's a dev up. It is a little late in his career. But maybe if he can get another star, you know, get up to star dev, that could be huge for him. Who knows? Curtis Samuel, one of the guys I was going to try to trade for. Oh, God, he didn't go up in dev. That's that's not a good sign at all, lads. I know he's in the NFC, so maybe that saves us. But, Jesus, that's worrisome. Uh, lack of sacks. Lester Cotton did very well. Of course, a lot of a lot of snaps and not many give-ups. But, of course, a lot of these guys are guards and centers. Left tackle, probably the best in the, in the league uh, for performance-wise. Not really super great, but he did very well. Who gave up the most sacks? It's usually, it's always a cowboy. I don't know how the hell that's even possible. The Cowboys are supposed to be good, and they're just not at blocking. Tackles, uh, Shazier, Bervik. So Moses was actually one of the top tacklers in the league. Uh, sack totals, who had the most? Uh, Aaron Lynch, Zach Allen, Joey Bosa. So surprisingly, Joey Bosa still won Defensive Lineman of the Year. He did have more tackles, maybe fumbles as well. Ooh, that's, I mean, that's kind of close. That's, I love says one one catch allowed, as if he was in coverage, which is kind of funny. Uh, Watt was paid a lot in offseason, and apparently he was worth the money. Aaron Donald, you know, our pass rush definitely took a step back in numbers, but the actual talent of the pass rush was right up there. It was still great. Uh, let's take a look at kicking. Highest percentage goes to, wow, really? Norman Webster? That can be the guy that won it, right? How the hell is that guy over valued over Sam Martin? He had three times the kicks. It is what it is. Let's see. If his guy's like star dev or something, I'm going to be mad. Okay, he didn't go up in dev, so it doesn't matter. Uh, punting, I don't really care. I do like to see the yards. I think Kamara, yeah, over 2,000. Holy crap. How many touchdowns did the Saints give up this season? Like, I don't even know where we are. We're like maybe a total of 600. I don't even know. Who had the most touchdowns? Kamara, Phillips, a couple of decent names. I know Lockett had one because he had that insane one before half with, like, time running down. Gates had one. It was actually kind of recently, too. Punt return touchdowns. Only one, and it was a Cowboy. Most yards goes to the guy that did return it. So we'll take a quick glance, I suppose, at the actual team stats. So we barely uh, edged off the uh, Packers. Over 2,000 yards total rushing, 4,500 yards passing. 51 passing touchdowns, 22 rushing, 252 first downs, averaging 36.6 points per game, which was just barely the most in the league. A lot of guys over 30. Who le averaged the least? Derek, come on, man. Come on. Uh, defensively, we were the best as well. Not by a whole lot, just like passing, but it still was, you know, the best. We also la averaged 50 points less than the Falcons and then like 100 less than the rest which is crazy. Sack totals were usually very high on the list. Raiders beat us by four. We have some competition. I love it. Uh, fumbles. Yeah, we really don't cause too many fumbles. Or at least we don't recover any either. Uh, picks. Very low for us. 39 picks on the season. We were obviously top five, uh, top six, top ten. But still, I would like to have that a little more. Conversion percentage. We were the highest in third down. Uh, red zone efficiency. We were actually kind of bad with this. And I think... A lot of that does have to do with the fact that I don't try to run up the score too much. You know, like when it comes down to, you know, all the backups are in and whatnot. I don't want to run up the score if I don't need the points. So I think that's where the red zone thing comes in. Turnovers, we were number five. And uh, that's pretty much it. We have almost 8,000 total yards. Now here is what I care about. This is what I care about. The devs. Of course, Jacoby. If he went down in dev, I would literally just stop playing Madden forever. Scrambler. I want him to get 80 speed. Please, Jacoby. That's all I care about, my dude. Oh, he's not going to get it. Five breaks. He's got to wait 30k XP, and he gets a five break sack. He's got... He's 56. I hope the guy who made this game breaks his... 
uh, bank account with lots of money and success, you know. Uh, so let's go with, I guess I'll go with Agile to try to get the scheme fit. It kind of makes sense. You know, a lot of upgrades needed anyways. And it's a pretty good upgrade, actually. Plus one to pass block, run block. Uh, Taylor Decker. I don't, once again, I don't know if you can even gain dev or lose dev on the O-line. I really don't think you can. Uh, we do need a little bit of rushing stuff. So we're going to go with power. I think power is the running stuff. Uh, let's see. Uh, three pass block power. Of course, we're going to look at the devs afterwards, Moses. Man, I don't want to look at I just don't want to look at him. I'm scared because if he doesn't get a dev of him, I'm going to cry. Uh, field general. I really want to get him scheme fit. Damn it, Moses. Please be a speed up. Ooh, we got a chance. Block shed. It's not. Thank you, star dev. So, I mean, obviously, it could have been nicer. Could have been, you know, a superstar season. If it wasn't for the Colts guy. God damn it. Uh, still, I mean... Props to him. That's an insane season. What was it, 20? 20 interceptions? Obviously, he probably hasn't upgraded his guy yet. But he went up to star dev. Gained about... How much XP was that? 64,000 XP. And I think I might have ruined it to see how much we had. But definitely would not have been 64,000. Hopefully, he at least got a Pro Bowl. Where the hell? It doesn't even show it, does it? Star dev. Last week. To, I don't even know. Like, he better have made the Pro Bowl. I'm going to be pissed if he didn't because it doesn't seem like he did, which really would suck, but it is what it is. Uh, the main ones, though, the wide receivers. Moses was my number one, obviously. Moses, number one. And then number two would honestly be Bosa. He stayed superstar dev. My boy, my legend, uh, my goat, Bosa. Watch him drop dev. Watch him drop dev. Did he go back up? He went back up to super. My boy. I love him. He's only got three upgrades anyways, but that's beside the point. Sue actually went up in dev, like we said, which is ridiculous. Trevor, I don't think our corners really had a good season, so yeah, I wouldn't expect any dev stuff, which would be really nice if they did. Levert probably dropped down to normal, too. He actually stayed quick. Might be because of how young he is, though. Casey Hayward, not a chance. Yeah, normal dev. Might even hit free agency. We'll see. And Wosu with normal dev. We know Jatavis dropped. King might have jumped. He didn't. Okay. Derwin with some upgrades. I think he would have went up, Dev. Yeah, he's back up to star, unfortunately. That, honestly, it worries me more. Honestly, it it actually makes me more sad. Because if we're being legit, Derwin James, I would love to get upgrades with, and I can't. I might actually ask them if I can uh, switch him to corner. Obviously, he's got great man in zone. I would just let him know that I won't upgrade him if that's you know if that's the story. If you guys don't want me to upgrade him, fair enough. I just want him to play in a position where he can lock down. The thing is, he fits so well as a safety. So honestly, I would only ask that if I actually had a replacement with some power to hit, which is not the case. Normal dev for Kuistra or Kuistra. Obviously, he did not have a good season. I've been trying to develop him because Hankins, you know, and Pablo's possibly Sue. Could be gone. Banks, Kuistra, two hit power. I mean, that's interesting. Good block shed upgrade. What is his hit power in general? 73. He's a decent player, though. And now here for the moment of truth, the thing that matters the most, wide receiver. So Lockett was quick dev. He stays quick dev. He got over 1,000 a, a yards. He didn't have 10 touchdowns, though, so there's one thing. Tyree Cleveland. He uh, did not drop Dev either, which is very important as well. Now, Tyree, or Tyrell, please. I don't even care if you went up to Superstar. Just don't drop Dev. That's all I care about. And he stays Star. Thank you. Thank you. We didn't get many upgrades, but that's okay. I was really just hoping we would stay the same Dev, and then, of course, we would, uh, we would go up with Moses. So, I mean, that's really the only <laughs> goal there, and we hit it. So, I'm happy with it. And obviously, we're uh, headed to the playoffs, so we'll see how that goes. I might actually take a look at a training. We might have upgrades for next week. But I love it. I love it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you guys think some of our players got snubbed for upgrades. I know we could have probably used Maurice Gates more. We did get a plus one of speed on the season for him as well. But, I mean, Eckler's just better. He's just he's just simply better. He's 26, not that much older, and he's just better. It, it's obviously the, the case. And... Yeah, we could still end up having to like, look for replacements for Tyrell and Lockett because obviously they're getting older, especially Lockett who only has quick dev. 
you know, Tyrell can get away with a little bit since he does have star. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm I'm happy with the way it went. Wish we could add a little bit more devs. You know, we got we we got an upgrade for Bosa. Can't really upgrade much. Sue not going to be on the team. Derwin James can't upgrade either. It kind of sucks, but it works out, I suppose. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hopefully, you guys come back for next video. Playoff time. Can Jacoby get number four? But until next video, see.